Did you know that a delivery company, FedEx, once installed air defense systems on some of their planes back in 2007? It immediately begs the question, why would a delivery company need air defense systems like fighter jets? Well, it all started with a single tragedy. In 2003, a missile attack in Baghdad damaged an Airbus DHL Express cargo plane's wing, disrupting its hydraulics. Despite the odds, the crew managed to safely land the airplane without causing additional damage. An investigation concluded that the missile was fired from a surface-to-air missile similar to those fired from man-pads or man-portable air defense systems. Every military in the world possesses man-pads because they're relatively cheap, portable and simple to fire, a weapon attractive to terrorist groups. This is a concerning situation. Downing a commercial aircraft wouldn't only mean a loss of life, but direct damage to the economy. If an aircraft is shot down or hijacked, air travel shuts down for hours or even days. In 2003, in response to the growing threat to commercial aviation, the US Congress directed the Department of Homeland Security to develop and implement a plan to protect commercial aircraft from missiles fired from man pads. A counter manpad, if you will. Two companies hired to create such technology were Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems, two of the largest defense contractors in the US. BAE System developed a jet eye distributed system that is installed on different parts of the airplane to make it work as a whole. Meanwhile, Northrop Grumman, on their behalf, developed the Guardian a pod mounted on the underside of the fuselage with all components needed to destroy the incoming missile. So how could they do it? By shooting lasers at missiles. This is how it works. Both systems spot and track an incoming missile, and then they shoot a pretty strong infrared laser which doesn't destroy the missile. However, it confuses them. But how can you confuse a missile? Well, it's fairly simple. All manpads have sensors that track the heat signature of their target aircraft. The missile follows the exhaust heat of the aircraft's engine and uses it to hit the plane, or other missiles for that matter. Is overloading the heat-seeking sensors so much that the missile can't track the target anymore? To test the systems out on real planes, BAE Systems Jetai was installed on three American Airline 767 passenger planes, while Northrop Grumman's Guardian pods were fitted in 10 FedEx MD-10 cargo planes. And yes, both of these systems were live fire tested in the range without using a real plane though. The test took place in the White Sand Missile Range in 2007. Both Guardian and Jetai were attached to an elevated gondola, emulating the heat signature of a Boeing 747. And the missiles were fired toward the gondola. This range allows the use of inexpensive aircraft mock-ups or stripped fuselages. In addition, the cables allow the control of the speed and elevation of the vehicle, so tests are quite accurate for their low price. Both systems showed great effectiveness in all tests, meaning they could successfully identify and neutralize missiles shot at them. However, just a year later, after the start of the government test in 2008, both systems were uninstalled from all aircraft for two major reasons, reliability and, more importantly, cost. After 16,000 flight hours of all planes installed with laser defense systems, data showed that even though Guardian and Jetai could neutralize threats effectively, both would become operational due to frequent system errors. And they were quite expensive, costing $1 million per unit. Not only is it a heavy expense, but additional weight and drag would be created since installing these systems. They could very much make the plane slower and delivery overdue. But there is also a risk of accidental discharge. If the laser activates and points in the direction it shouldn't point, it might hurt civilians. This is one of the reasons why the Federal Aviation Administration of the United States is hesitant to allow FedEx to install anti-missile technology onto their planes. 
FedEx applied to install those systems back in 2019, but the FAA still needs time to review and study the request, especially if it's going to pose any possible dangers. So what was the alternative for the system? The answer is flying over safe countries.